Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection. Today, we're going to dive into a fragrance house. Uh, once again, Zerzhov, which is one of my favorite fragrance houses. I'm sure you guys know about this because of the amount of offerings that I've talked about on this particular channel. But today, I want to talk about considering the fact that fragrance is one thing that elevates you way beyond just simply smelling good. It is something that actually creates a very subtle intimacy between you and another human being. Um, to me, it's a silent conversation that just draws people in. It's alluring, seductive. That's what perfume really does for people. Fragrances really turn the actual allure on. It's the effect that you real see because it's palpable. And for me, this house of Zerzhov is just known for some of the best crafted fragrances that are luxurious, complex, and they're just scents that has captured the essence of perfect innovation when it comes to the Amber and Musk collection. Um, for me, this cap this just captivating duo is one that it combines amber and musk in a way that is designed to bring a sense of allure and mysteriousness that women very much so love on me and it's this intrigue that's about this particular scent profile that's very becoming and so when layering these on the skin they create this endless combination that blends sensuality a little bit of sophistication and then it also makes the ideal choice for anyone who is looking to add a touch of depth and intrigue to their scent profile or scent wardrobe. So for me, introducing this to you guys is going to be such a pleasure today. So if this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive into this particular perfume house of Zerzhov because it's one that I particularly want to talk about this duo that they made, this mixing experience. And it's about creating your signature scent. So for me, whether you are a fragrance enthusiast or just new to exploring luxury perfumes, Zerzhov's Amber and Star uh, Musk, Amber Musk and Star Musk, <laughs> get that out of my mouth tight, is a collection that offers a chance to create your own signature scent that is truly resonant when it comes to your personality type. For me, blending these two scents are their masterpieces on their own. But once you embody the scent that both intriguing and memorable that creates that bond between you and the elements of these particular complex perfumes when you spray them on as a combination or even a part, this is the great combination blending experience that I want to bring. For those who appreciate art and fragrance, the box set is just a collection. Um, it's not just a collection. It is something that brings forth a new um chemical balance when it comes to fragrance so the intimacy of this one and the customization of this one makes this for one of the better and most unique fragrance purchases in my collection so first off we're going to get into one uh in this particular collection that i've adorned um when i sampled it i actually bought the set after sampling only the one and it was truly truly worth it so the first one in this particular list is going to be the scent of amber star so amber star as you can see here this is a great presentation um, it comes double boxed it has the actual mixing experience labeled there it is a traditional leather bound uh, box with the cloth but as you see it sits with a duality um, of the black matte and white matte bottles this is a gorgeous presentation but first off in the fragrance of amber star as I talk about the scent profiles of each amber star is a very very beautiful fragrance that is one that is warm bold and sophisticated to me the particular nuances of this one that open up so beautiful the amber cedar wood and ylang ylang this fragrance is one that begins with the top notes like i stated of a beautiful 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 cedar and amber a warm grounding introduction that immediately commands attention as the scent develops it is one that has a heart of virgin balsam which is the star player to this particular scent for me that particular notion brings about a smoky richness that it's both comforting and masculine and so that's the beautiful part about this one when you get this one it's your collection it has some fragrances uh, or fragrance of notes and accords that really conjure the effect of masculinity before it does create the bountiful effect of having a duality of the two together. So this one to me leans mostly masculine and that to me 
is very, very sensual leaning because of the base of vanilla, which is a bourbon vanilla. And sandalwood, it adds a layer of sweetness and depth that are just beautiful when they enhance the warmth of this particular scent. It creates a well-rounded scent that actually feels intimate yet refined. And that's the beautiful thing about amber. To me, amber is the perfect fall fragrance accord and it is gorgeous the way Christian Carbonell from the house, uh, master perfumer of the house of Zerzhov really conducts himself to bring about amber-based fragrances. You have scents like um, Ivory Root, which very much so conjures some of the effects of this one and things of that sort. So I won't go depthful into what others in this collection have come to smell like, but you will understand that this one is a, bit, a much, much higher profile fragrance and much more uh, exclusive, I should say. And so for this one, this fragrance speaks to men who want to be commanding, seductive, and have a presence just without being overpowering. And that's the thing about this one making it so seductive because something... When a woman smells this particular scent, they love to lean in for the experience up close. And that's what you are getting from Amber Star. It's a very, very sensual base fragrance that I stated. It's a little bit smoky with the guaiac wood and gurgeon balsam with the myrrh oil in the mid. And that's the overall encompassing of this particular scent profile because the mid is the star player of this one. Once the opening development of Amber and Cedar Wood and that slightly floral touch of Lang Lang dissipate into the background. It stays there, there's a veil of it there, but it's, it goes into the background and then the mid comes up as the main projector of this particular scent with that guaiac wood and gurgeon balsam. But then after about 45 minutes on the skin, the settling effect of the complexness of the base starts to come up and then that's when the sweet resinous and balsamic touches start to appear. And in particular, this is one that I could see as a star player for those who love the scent like Clive Christian's Blonde Amber and Amber Wood. This is the type of scent profile that is pleasantly mass appealing while having just a great amount of high-end oils and great perfumery put together to make this one of those fragrances that really stand out. It shines amongst many of the amber fragrances in my collection and I truly, like I stated, I bought this particular collection off of the fact that I smelled this one, sampled this one, and knew just having a collection would be a great addition to my wardrobe. And as I stated, it has this sweetness, it has a little bit of animalic touch to it, which is smooth and seductive from the Gurgeon Balsam and the actual Amber in this one. But the Opopinex, that sweet Opopinex, that Myrrh, the Sandalwood, the Amber Accord, the Bourbon Vanilla, all come to accommodate to be the sexy and sensual fragrance that you want to get to be ex ex basically one to have an experience of allure and attraction when it comes to someone leaning in close. So at the end of the day, Amber Star, a beautiful concoction for amber-based fragrances that go along the line of things like I stated. The Blonde Amber from Clive Christian. The uh, It's not the gray amber scent. It's not something like Amber Nui. It's much more thick. So things like uh, the Means Regent Leather with that balsamic sweet warmness. These are the type of fragrances that conjure the effect of Amber Star. But Amber Star does it in its own particular way because we know that Zerzhoff and Christian Carbonell can always go off the not so much off the beaten path but really add an exclusivity by adding additional notes and accords to it and then the ones that they do use they use in perfection so once again the first scent in this particular duo amber star is a beautiful ambery based fragrance that is bold warm and unforgettable ladies and gentlemen next up in this collection is the actual scent star musk now star musk is no slouch. Star Musk is one that very much so surprised me. Reading the notes, I would have thought that this would have been much more of a feminine leaning fragrance. Surprise, surprise. This is not a leaning toward any femininity or masculinity. This is one of those perfect down the line fragrances. And if asking when the duo comes to become a component of wearing it as a blending experience, this is a very much so masculine leaning experience than it is feminine. But when it comes to the scent of Star Musk, Star Musk is a smooth, floral and intriguing fragrance that really much so is a brightening effect to a Poppinex. And that's the one thing that I want to get across to you guys. It has some floral components to it, but it's just one that has a, a airiness to a Poppinex. And it's not something that's super, super floral or super feminine. It's, it's a great contrast to the Amber Star. But at the end of the day, this is its own fragrance that has some similarity in its note structure which makes this the slam dunk duo that it is because in contrast star musk introduces a more floral and zesty character and that thing to me is one that opens with a lively brightness of mandarin um 
and then the scent immediately sets like a freshing yet inviting tone to it. It sets itself apart because it has a Haitian vetiver, which adds a touch of earthiness and basically is underpinned by that musk and vanilla accord that is the differentiator from the Amber Star. But when it comes to the scent profile, the softness in this composition does not lead itself into a femininity style. The blend is smooth, it is creating an aura of mystery that draws people in just as our Amber Star does. It's sexy, it's sensual, it's actually even more captivating than Amber Star when it comes to a sensual effect. This one here is just a fragrance that feels like a gentle invitation. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's slightly floral like I stated, but it has this mid after the floral notes open up with that mandarin, it has this mid of like a slight touch of orris root, cinnamon, clove, sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver, which creates this earthy appeal in the mid, which then starts to take this to that groundbreaking duality of the two fragrances, because that's when it enters the base notes of the same exact musk or poponax benzoin, which is basically amber, and mysore sandalwood and vanilla. And that's when the moments start to arise when you have a subtle effect of impact offering an elegant scent profile that stays close to the skin while still captivating at an arm's reach makes this it's the sensual style of the um, invitation, soft invitation, sexy and sensual invitation that you want from a chronic car of soft musk for men. And I mean, it's, it's, it's devastatingly beautiful, fellas. When I, I sense this one, the thing about this one is, if you have a lady in your life and you are dating to me, I would ultimately advise this to be a fragrance that both of you wear at the same time. And I don't mean just one or the other. I mean, you guys, the guy, you wear the Amber Star, your lady wear the Star Musk. And when you are in a mood to go out and date and dance and be in, involved with each other, they both have great siage and projection. And so when people are walking around you as a couple, you really become a truly, truly inviting, beautiful couple to be around. The sense of these smells together and that duality is something that's captivating. And not only like I stated, is this that type of fragrance where both of you can wear one at a time, even switch up if you choose to, but once you spray these on the skin, what I've chosen to do is not spray directly on top of each other, but spray half of my body with one and the other half of my body with the other, meaning from my chest plate to the left or my chest plate to the right, I sprayed one fragrance. And that air, that way that sillage creates that, that effect in the air around you is very, very beautiful the way that this one comes off. So the impact of these two fragrances together is a great, great combination that I think all of you guys, if you have a chance to just sample this blend, you won't be disappointed. Once again, a beautiful, smooth, floral, and intriguing fragrance from the House of Zerjoff, and this is Star Musk. Very sensual fragrance. So fellas, when it comes to the magic of these particular scents together, these are what Zerjoff and what many manufacturers of niche perfumes need to dive into. Something that is a, a blending process. I know when we first started this game, Tom Ford said his private blend was about blending. That was usual for that particular line. Some, some of them blended well together, most of them didn't. When it comes to the actual effect of having a blending fragrance accord, they've hit it out of the park with this one. This is one I'm truly, truly impressed with and was intrigued by for years, but I'm truly, truly impressed with it, the way it comes off of my skin. Because as I stated, I had sampled this one, had never smelled this one, and the way that this fragrance line is coming across, I will be honest with you in saying that I am much more enlightened to wear the musk fragrance because of the way it comes off with that base of uh, vanilla and poppinax with a little bit more brightness and pop off the skin and it's not in any way shape or form don't let the notes fool you you know i would never lead you astray when it comes to the way things can be effective in a feminine state form to me this one leans exactly unisex even depending on how your dress code is it's perfect unisex but it can lean masculine depending on how your dress code is for the day but when it comes to these two fragrances together when they're combined, Amber Star and Star Musk create a harmony between each other with a warm amber grounding musk and a bright floral adaptation to uniquely fit the wearer. And that's a beautiful thing about these particular scents. This layering potential is a true highlight of amber and musk mixing, allowing you a, just a customization to your scent experience to fit your mood, your season, to give an impact of your impression to what you want to make it to be. And that's a gorgeous wearing amber musk fragrance. So when Zerjoff made this as an approach to fragrance blending, it's almost like creating a scent that is dynamic and versatile just for the person that you are. It's something that, well, if you do three sprays of this one and five of that one or two of this one and one of this one, it's gonna be different and unique for everyone. 
and every time you wear it, it can be different, which is gorgeous. Of a that's just that's the customization process that I think everybody should try. So at the end of the day, with this warm embrace and this how this comes about with the facets and the themes of amber and musk, I think that they hit this out the park, and I really advise you guys to get a sample of this one. More masculine, unisex leaning together. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pair of fragrances. So get your nose on amber star and star musk very unique the blend is perfect christian Cabanel does it again gentlemen i hope that you guys found something entertaining and educational from this particular video as always when it comes to learning about these different fragrances and like i'll show you the case again this is a beautiful 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 combination of fragrances when it comes to these particular scents Zerjoff's Amber Star and Musk collection is a perfect example of how to create an aura of intimacy and allure, especially for men who want to stand out in a subtle yet powerful way. To me, these fragrances are crafted to resonate with both the wearer and those around them. And that leaves you with a lingering warmth and elegance that women truly love. And then when you put this with them, they will truly fall in love with you because of the experience that you guys share together. So if you're ready to elevate your particular fragrance game and your wardrobe, try tapping into the Zerjoff Amber Star and Star Must collection because this collection could be your new secret weapon in the world of luxury fragrance and intimacy. Until next time, until next video, peace.